Hello Scorpio and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. I'll be doing your general reading where I'll be covering career, finance, romance, any challenges that you're currently facing, your thoughts and of course the outcome. So for those who are new to our channel, welcome. I'm very excited to have you here. Now I'll be pulling out a one card to get your overall energy. So let's just get straight into it. If you haven't yet, please share and subscribe to our channel to get all the latest info. Okay, Scorpio. All right. Current energy is, okay. Yes, the Nine of Cups. Now the Nine of Cups is all about options. You may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed because you've been presented with more than one opportunity, Scorpio. So yes, emotions a little bit running high you may be feeling excited nervous butterflies in your stomach of course however though Scorpio the best thing about the nine of cups that the best thing to to make a decision is to ground yourself ground yourself and make a logical decision look at everything from different perspective to get a better answer to your decision okay Scorpio so let's get started with your general reading, give these a good shuffle. All right, let's cut the cards. Okay. In the current situation we have here, okay, we have the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands is someone that is passionate about their projects, they're passionate about their career. This You may have also the Gift of Gap, able to sell anything. This could be selling anything online, in person, over the phone. You are the great communicator here, Scorpio. And you are presented as a king. Now, gender doesn't really matter here, but you like to lead. You like to lead your finances. You like to lead your projects. And you're very, very passionate about your current situation. I'm getting the sense that this is, this is more a career that you're very, very passionate about. Now, any challenges at the moment? Yes, strength. Now, strength is a major arcana, okay? The challenge here is to approach things with honey, not vinegar, okay? So in other words, be calm and not aggressive when you approach situation. So this is also a promise of the return of good health. Your health looks very good. It looks, it's going to re return to excellent. And this all comes to that you're looking after yourself, you're eating well and exercising. So remember Scorpio, approach things very calmly. Now in the immediate past, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but it promises a solid offer. There may have been a job offer in the past that came with a good solid offer, which means more money, an increase of finances. So you may have changed jobs in the past or you may have started a business or an online hustle or even just started something new that's promising, that requires a skill here. So you're doing, you're doing really good at the moment, Scorpio. The foundation of the card, we have the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands, gender does not matter here, but the Queen of Wands takes potential only if she sees it. So I feel like there is something that you're passionate about, that you're going to take action because you see potential. Now you may also get advice from someone that can give you some sort of really good pointers in terms of your project also. Now, listen, keep your eyes and ears open. And I feel like this is something very creative that you're doing. You could be a writer. You could be something that's in the spotlight, perhaps maybe online also. This is really good. Your thoughts at the moment, we have, okay, the Four of Cups. 
at the moment, Leo, your thoughts, you're a little bit bored. You're a little bit tired of the routine at the moment. You don't feel passion. You don't feel that fire inside you. However, though, the universe is going to present you with this cup. And this cup is going to make you, it's going to trigger you. You're going to feel butterflies in your stomach. You're going to feel happy. You're going to get out of this boredom, this routine of not feeling, feeling like you're on a treadmill and going nowhere. However, though, the universe is promising this cup. Fantastic, Scorpio. In the near future, wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is brand new beginnings. Congratulations, Scorpio. So what is this, what is this new beginning? It's an increase in finance. So you're going to see new changes, new promotions, a flurry of activity. Why? Because you took the action also. Remember, fire, fire the queen of wands is, is about taking action. You're going to take action and you're going to see the results. You're going to see that your work was paid off and a new beginning starts. Yes. Now, from your point of view, how you see yourself, we have here another ace of cups. You're a little bit, no, you're actually very fulfilled right now, Scorpio. You feel emotionally full of happiness, of abundance. You're very happy. This is a fant this is another beginning. And I believe it has to do with something with the near future. Two aces, that's amazing. Yes, you're, you're going to have a reason to smile. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. You're going to have a reason to be excited. This is fantastic. Now in the current environment, okay, we have the three of swords. There may have been a, there may have been some heartbreak from the past, perhaps a relationship breakdown, perhaps a job loss. This all has to do feeling the heartbreak of something, losing something. The good thing about this though, these were your lessons also, Scorpio. And your feedback you're gonna grow from this and you're gonna do better you've got two aces so there are new beginnings yes in the environment it could have been work colleagues it could have been friends it could have been a relationship breakdown divorce however you are going to rebuild from this you are going to get up and not give up with your hopes and wishes yes we have the five of wands now, five of wands is about arguments. Now, I'm very certain that this is linked to the three of swords. There may have been arguments, regretful words that have been exchanged. Yes, I feel that there's been a clash of egos. There's been finger pointing and some stuff may have been, perhaps you may have regretted saying certain things though, but you needed to speak your truth though. The good thing about the five of wands is that you can remove yourself from the situation. People might try to challenge you. What they want to get a reaction. However, Scorpio, you can walk away from this and not be a part of it. However, though, it is necessary to use your voice and speak your truth when necessary. This is why you also have strength. Approach things with calm. Don't be aggressive. And in the outcome, we have, wow, <laughs> the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles, this person, the meaning, this person is single. Now, regardless whether you're single or with a partner, it doesn't matter. But this person is enjoying the fruits of her labor. In other words, you have money to spend on yourself. That feeling of buying something that you love and not looking at the price tag because of your hard work. You've done a lot of hard work and you deserve to spend a little bit on yourself. Okay. This person is independent and this person knows how to work her money. Okay. Scorpio. So you have a very good outcome. You're going to be splashing a little bit money on yourself. I think because you deserve it, but let's get some confirmation on these cards. So at the moment, yes, this reading is more focused career. Yes, it's been a bit of arguments, could be at home, 
could be at work. But you're going to come out really good from it. Scorpio, your outcome? Yep. You've got beginnings happening also. It's fantastic. One more. Okay, let's cut the card. This one. Okay. Current circumstances. Yes, you have the King of Wands, and that's been confirmed with, yep, the Ten of Swords. Now, this is the worst it can get. I feel like you've really had to stand up for yourself. You've had to work really hard. You've been under pressure. You've been tested by others. Could be a reason why you've got the Five of Wands. However, though, this is temporary. This is why you've got the King of Wands. This rolls over to the Ace of Swords. And remember, these swords are not touching this person. You can overcome this. You're going to stand up stronger. This is not all bad because you also got the King of Wands. You're going to come out of this, Scorpio. Challenges, yes. We do need strength and be calm. And that's also being confirmed with temperance. A major arcana. With temperance, yes. You have to be very calm in a situation. Especially when temperaments are being tested. But temperance looks after herself, Scorpio. Which means it is time to take a little bit of time off and look after yourself. Don't overwork. Don't get too much involved with arguments. Take time off. Relax a bit, get out of the house, go for a walk. You can see Temperance how she's pouring a cup into another cup. There's balance here. Find that balance and look after yourself. <clears throat> now in the immediate past, yes, we had the Knight of Pentacles and that's been confirmed with the Chariot. This is the fastest moving Knight. I love seeing the Chariot's Cancer energy. Now something fast is coming towards you. If it hasn't happened yet, it will. And what does this chariot bring? A solid offer. If this has already happened, you, there's a reason why to be excited. But it hasn't, if it hasn't happened yet, this is coming towards you. And, and it's bringing a solid offer. This is speeding up the Knight of Pentacles. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving card, but the chariot will speed it up will move things forward for you. The universe will present it much sooner for you. And again, this could also mean the chariot traveling overseas, moving into state with a project that you're passionate about. Now the foundation, you had the queen of wands and that's been presented with the king of pentacles, Scorpio. Now you might get advice from someone that will give you great financial advice. This person is gentle. You can rely on this person. And they want the best for you. You might be also getting paid well for something that you have, like a skill, an idea that's being reborn. And you're being presented as a leader also. So you may be also be speaking with very important people, Scorpio. Being part of a meeting, being invited to go to meetings, conferences. Now, thoughts, yes, you do have the four of cups and that's being presented with temperance temperance is literally all the queens wrapped up in one now if you're considering giving uh, getting pregnant in the future yes because this person's thinking you might be thinking to start a family yes that could happen however though temperance is also gives birth to ideas there's something that you're wondering you're pondering there's something that's driving your mind a little bit crazy you could say because there's an idea there's something an idea might be presented to you and the empress gives birth to it you take action you take that first leap of faith and go for it scorpio watch your thoughts keep your eyes and ears opened because you never know what you might find this is great scorpio in the near future, you have great beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles. And that's also been presented with 
the page of wands. Now the page of wands are messages, okay? You might be getting a message online, like through an email or a phone call. I am picking up this as more of an email. However though, this person brings good news. This is going to make you excited. It's going to get you out of this. And this message brings excitement. Butterflies in your stomach, but good butterflies. You're going to feel excited again and it's going to light your fire. You're going to feel passion again. So definitely keep an eye out. And it also brings beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, point of view, how you see yourself. Yeah, we have the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands have, has come out twice. Okay. What I'm seeing here, because it's been harsh words, arguments being exchanged, it has triggered you emotionally, Scorpio. You have felt someone's words. And words can be hurtful, absolutely. Look, everybody's fighting here. There's clashes of egos, there's finger pointing, and you've been, you've been hurt by people's words and their actions and their behaviors. Sometimes though, the best thing to do is to walk away. You might though, get an apology from someone Someone might lower their head and admit to their fault. So don't try not to get too involved when this is presented, Scorpio. Remember, you got the strength card. Approach things with calm. In the environment, you had the three of swords, and that's been confirmed with the emperor. Now, even though there's been heartache with the three of swords, the emperor brings discipline. The emperor is telling you, Scorpio, now is the time to boss up. Now is the time to stand up, remove all the BS from your life and take charge. That's what the emperor does. The emperor is disciplined and they're very structured. Whatever disappointments you've had, no, you're going to move away from this energy and take charge. You might also even seek more advice from someone that understands what you're trying to do. So I feel like, I honestly feel like that there is a project, there's something that you want to do. There's an idea, a very creative idea that you want to do and you've been shot down from it. There's been arguments, people have tried to d bring down your goals and your dreams, Scorpio. Hopes and wishes, again, we did have the five of wands and that's been confirmed with the devil. Now the devil is person of extremes. This is too much of something. So Scorpio, when there are a lot of arguments, sometimes we tend to, for example, drink too much, overeat, overmedicate. No, that's not the way. The best way to do is to not get involved and walk away, but watch your thoughts also. This could also mean if you're thinking too negative also about a situation, could be fights with family, fights with extended family, or co-workers this might be restructuring in the workplace also however though Scorpio watch your negative thoughts keep your positive thoughts elevated you're better than this this is just telling you to watch yourself be careful not to do things of extreme outcome you did have yep the seven of pentacles that's been confirmed with the tower now the tower of course can be a bit of a shake-up also. You might feel that old foundations no longer serve you and you're doing something else. Let's get another card as confirmation. We've got the Hierophant. You're going to commit to something long-term. Okay, Scorpio, whatever idea that you have, it's going to shake you up in a positive way. You're going to feel the change. You're going to see it for your own eyes. And whatever change you're going to do, whatever passionate project that you're doing, and look, something can probably start out as a hobby and might turn to something profitable, but you're going to do it long term. You're going to commit to it and it's going to shake up your world. You're going to see it for yourself. Overall, Scorpio, you had a fantastic reading. Your only challenge was just to be careful with arguments, approach the situation with calm and you will come out fine. Keep your thoughts elevated, your positive thoughts, because you do have a good outcome 
coming your way with the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is someone that can buy something without looking at the price tag this is promising scorpio so again scorpio i want to thank you for joining me in this reading i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you at the next reading bye for now